let d and n both be positive integers. This means that we can arrange d dots in a line, and we can arrange n dots in a line. The theorem we're interested in says there exist unique integers q and r, with 0 less than or equal to r less than d, satisfying the equality n equals q times d plus r. To prove the existence of q and r, we start subtracting copies of d from n. As we do this, we create a list of decreasing positive integers. By the least integer principle of positive integers, we know that this set must have a least element, as we see here, where we can no longer subtract off d. This is going to be the value of r. As we see in the diagram, we have arranged the n dots into an a d by q array with r dots left over in a line on top. This means that n equals q times d plus a remainder of r. To prove uniqueness of the pair q and r, let's imagine that we have another pair q prime and r prime satisfying the same conditions. Because these two are equal, we can subtract to see that q prime times d minus q times d is equal to r minus r prime. But now because r and r prime are both between 0 and d, their difference is between negative d and d. This means that q prime times d minus q times d is a multiple of d that lives between minus d and d. From this we see that q prime times d minus q times d must be 0, and consequently that means r minus r prime must be 0. Dividing the second equality by d, which is non-zero, shows us that q prime minus q is 0, and r minus r prime is 0. Therefore, r must be equal to r prime, and q must be equal to q prime. This means that r and q are unique. This concludes our proof of the theorem known as the division theorem, or the division algorithm.